Trevor like the narco, narco got dope like Pablo. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I achieve this look. I sometimes curl my hair like this and I love it and I've been putting it on my Instagram and everyone was like Bitch! You won't tell us how you did your hair or not? So I thought it was really easy and self-explanatory but you guys want to see it so I basically use this curler. So it's um, by Lee Stafford and it's called a Chopstick Styler. So it's just a really thin wand. And I just put my hair in sections and curl it. Anyway, you'll see that when we get into it. But yeah, and then I just did my everyday makeup look at the moment. So like really, well, natural, it's like natural beat, you know what I mean? Bit of a brown in the crease, gloss, very bronzed and highlighty. I've just had a spray tan, so that's why I'm looking very brown right now, and especially in the next clip when I have no makeup on. But yes, I just love wearing this hair, like it makes me feel like, Yes, so I hope you enjoyed this video. All the products that I used will be linked down below as always, as with all my social medias. And make sure you comment, say hey, I'm getting better at interacting with my comments. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm hit you up. Make sure you subscribe. I think that is all. I think that is all. Also, let me just add that I, a lot of people have been asking if I have a Depop, and I do have a Depop, but I'm only shipping within the United Kingdom at the moment. I need to figure out like costs to like the US and stuff, like how much it's gonna be. But at the moment, UK only, my Depop is Emma Tamsin 96. I'll put it on the screen right now, I'll put it in the description. So if you guys ever wanted to buy some of my clothes, they're all quite cheap. So if you wanna, feel free. If you don't, girl, you ain't got to. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so I start off by putting my hair in two sections and I basically just brush all the way through it so it has no tangles in and it's ready to be curled. So then I section off the hair. So I'll section it one side and the other side and then I'll do half of one side and I'll tie that up. I like to work in sections because I feel like it's so much easier. And then I'll just spray it with some heat protectant. And then I get sections of hair about probably two centimeters, maybe. I'm not really good with measurements, but yeah, just little sections of hair because you want the curls to be tight. Also, don't judge me from putting my hair in my mouth. Like, I don't know why I do that. I just like to have it all out of the way. So I basically curl all them sections and I just do it all one way. You can do it opposing ways, but I feel like it's easy this way and I forget to curl it the other way. So I just basically do that until all of that side of the hair is curled. Also, drink your water. Remember to stay hydrated, kids. Okay, so then when I've done all of that section, I will get the other half of the section and I'll separate like the top layer of hair from the bottom layer of hair, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'll part, tie that bit away. So then I curl all of this bit again, because I want to make sure everything is curled. And I also like to curl right to the root of the hair so that it's bouncy from the root and not just halfway down the head. Like you want it to look as natural as possible. Also this like makes it last longer, so yeah. So all of that side is curled. I'll spray it with a little bit of hairspray because I have quite knotty hair. I don't know if it's because I have dry hair or anything like that, but it gets really tangled really easily. So I try not to spray it with too much hairspray because it just makes it more tangled. So then I go to work on the other side of the hair. And basically the exact same thing I did on one side, I just do on the other side. But on the top layers of the hair, I sort of like to curl one way and then the other way. Then I just get a wide tooth comb and I brush through the curls so that they are more separated and not so, you know, looking crazy. So we, we brush through it so it's a bit more separated and big and voluminous. So yeah, look at the difference. 
so I'll just brush you that you can also brush through it with your fingers that's fine too you just want to separate the curls but don't go in with a big brush because you don't want it to be looking too crazy girl then I'll just give it a few flips judge it from the root and yeah that is literally pretty much the hair done so I'll also part it more to one side because um, I just feel like it gives me more volume as well so that's how I usually wear it and then I'm just going to tie it up to do my makeup so I'm starting off with the Urban Decay Quick Fix setting spray then I go into foundation I'm using this Kiko one at the moment and I'm actually really liking it so I, this is my darker shade of foundation that I use when I've got fake tan on and I actually really like the foundation it's really full coverage and it's quite cheap so yeah everything will be linked down below you already know the drill then I go in with the age rewind concealer and a little bit of the LA girl pro concealer just to like mix my perfect shade the coverage on both of these is really good but i know the age rewind concealer the shades are terrible so yeah i think they've launched a few darker shades but it's only in the states at the moment oh yeah and then i'm also using this new uh, l'oreal infallible stick and it's incredible for contour like so i've always cream contoured i used to buy the anastasia kit but it's so expensive and this is like seven pound and it blends really well it's really creamy and a great contour shade Oh yeah, then you just take a break and sing, you know, sing and dance and eat your yogurt. Alright, come on Emma, let's get on with it. Right, so, eyebrows. I'm using this, oh god, I'm, I'm plucking my eyebrows and it's not great, it really hurts, I don't know why I do it. But basically I've started using this Urban Decay pencil. I used to use Anastasia Dip Brow, but I feel like this pencil, um, a girl used it on me at Urban Decay, and it's really great. It's a lot more natural than the Dip Brow, and I really feel like I can get some natural hair strokes in there and give myself a little fluffy brow. So along with this pencil, the girl also used on me this Subversion Lash Primer, Lash Primer, and she basically just brush it through my eyebrows and it makes them more fluffy and cute and also sets them in place also going in with mac give me sun just bronzing up my face using a little kiko kabuki brush too then i'm going in with the huda beauty palette i'm taking the shade bay on a brush i'm brushing it all over my eyelid and then i'm going in with the bronzer that i just used on my face in the lash line then I am going in with Shy and Sandalwood and just putting that in my crease as well. So it's kind of like a light brown. The Shy colour is a bit mauvey pinky, so just putting that in my crease. Then I just go in with the same colours again under my lash line. So then I'm going on to my blush, which is NARS Orgasm. Just putting that all over the apples of my cheeks. I've always used this blush. It's like the best colour ever. Then curling my lashes. And I'm going to use Benefits, their real mascara, which I'm absolutely in love with. I've always used this mascara. So I'll put a couple of coats of that on. Now my highlighter. Everyone always asks me about this. So I use MAC Oh Darling. And I'll put that on my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead, around the sides, doing like a C short, a C shape. And I'll put it on my nose, my cupid's bow. And then I will also go in and put it on my inner corner and just below on my brow bone. Then I'm gonna set everything with Urban Decay All Night, a setting spray waft it about now for lips i use max strip down pencil i'll just line my lips and then fill in most of my lip with it it's a really nice like nudie brown color and then i will go in with max clear lip gloss it's so shiny and like it's such like mirror shine yep get it all over your mouth you know the only thing is it's like 15 pounds so i'm just like whatever just any kind of lip gloss you know goes with the whole bronzy look Take your hair down and you done, girl. That's the end of the look. Yeah, so, you know, do some more dancing. Do some more singing. Have a great day.
yeah so let me know if you try this look let me know if you like it and i will see you next time bye